It's assuming that anybody... Yeah, they might come back. Let's see here. All right. No. Haha, they can hear things now. We have audio. Where do we leave it off at? We were on our way to the cemetery, and you had sniffed out... No, I'm asking the, the chat where we got lost. If he, uh, heard anything of what happened. Um... I'm assuming Lurks is either Zach or Trey. What? Who is Lurks? What? I have no idea. Just a viewer named Lurks. Anyway. So. Uh, recap. Uh, probably when you get them off in the chat. Just a recap, because it's very likely nobody heard crap for the past hour. Uh, for the past hour, the party has been asked to investigate a town that has been growing exponentially recently, but it seems that the new people moving in were supposedly supposed to be dead. And, well, the town itself seems relatively normal, for except for their extreme perfume fetish. And the fact that they seem to have a habit of trying to hang up everything they can find to alleviate a smell th that most people cannot pick up on. The Elephant Man and our turtle friend wants to go investigate the graveyard because the turtle heard one of the shopkeepers say that they don't ever use the graveyard. <laughs> that about summing up right? Yes. Also, my my elephant character is Trey's turtle character's betrothed brother. Just say brother-in-law. Not yet. Technically, he wouldn't be the brother-in-law if he's running away from the marriage. <laughs> Pretty much. So, you arrive to the graveyard. The map, by the way, is actually in the map section if you want to look at it. It looks fairly definitely unused. There's dirty... There's dead grass and dead leaves all over the place. The grave storms seem to be worn and haven't been bothered with in some time. You'll see five graves that are open with, that looks to be freshly dug up. It's strangely peaceful. So, anyone else think they're undead? That or we have grave robbers using 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 the chemicals from dead people to make perfume. Wouldn't be the worst thing I've heard of that. What Lich? I say we burn it to the ground. 
You know, I've only known you for a couple days, but that seems like your solution to everything. It works. <laughs> and you don't know what's going on here, so it might be accepted. Well, yeah, what if you're in an underwater city? We don't know for a fact that everybody here is undead. And even if like, they are, we don't know whether or not they're actually a threat to the people around them. This could all be just some crazy wizard's attempt to figure out how to subvert death. They do that from time to time. Hmm. Sounds like something you shouldn't even attempt, though. Yeah, from what I hear, the best result winds up with you being an undead monstrosity who eventually goes mad and your mind deteriorates into nothing. Just like Grandpa. Yeah. That's strangely accurate. Mm. I'm so glad that our people agreed not to use the undead in our armies anymore. Hmm. They always gave me the heebie-jeebies as a child. <laughs> well, it starts getting dark. Are you guys gonna go into the inn? For the night? I suppose we should find a place to rest. Hey, what's the worst that could happen? Why did you have to say that? <laughs> God is just love messing with people, is it? Hmm. Well, do you still sleep? Yes, I still sleep. <laughs> I've thought of ways around it, but no decent ones have come up yet. I mean, if I mean, I could just sleep in my shell, but if we're if we're trying to be a group now, I can understand us all bunking in one room. I mean, after all, you got me, you got Haram, you got Har Haram, Harlam, how do I pronounce your name, Zach? Harlam. Harlam. We got Harlam. We got Not Important here, who could probably just fit in a cupboard. And the uh, loser <laughs> guy, you don't take up much space, do you? Oh, right, sorry. You don't take up much space, do you? Mm. Right. Just, <laughs> that is the sound of the lizard just directly licking his eyeball. Hmm. Alright, good. As long as you get to do that, you're fine. Alright. Uh, now the question is, which of us looks normal enough to go in and book the room? Let's see. Important has connections. Lizard. Hmm. We can stay at the end. I've already booked my room. I can book you some additional one. Yeah, you do that. I <laughs> thought they would have got a little freaked out watching you walk in. Not necessarily. I was going to say, if you dress fancy enough, people tend not to care. Yeah. <laughs> if you dress trashy enough, you're invisible. Yeah. Out of character, though. 
almost all entirely zombies, so I doubt they're really judging. That is true. Yeah, we don't know they're zombies. They could be other forms of undead. Hmm. That Which is all amount to uh, fancy different types of zombies. Uh, hold on, did you get a weird fun. smell off that clerk? Skeleton is wearing either flesh still, but stabbed with skeletons for some reason. <laughs> so, unhatched skeletons. <laughs> uh, unhatched skeletons? Worst phrase I've ever yeah. heard. That's what you refer to when you're talking about a skeleton that is still within its flesh meats. That's the worst thing I've learned all day. Well, give me just over half an hour. I can give you the worst thing you'll learn tomorrow as well. <laughs> so what are we doing? Well, I bought you guys rooms. Oh. So. Uh, Isaac has to design the inn real quick, right? I already have it designed. I'm just uploading it. We're not sharing a room? So here's the ground floor of the inn. I tried to match it as best as I could, but you know how that goes. After all, we range from tall to short. man, <laughs> you. And the second floor where the vets and stuff <coughs> are. Guessing it was a good idea not to just sleep outside. Remains to be seen. Hmm. And I got us all the rooms on the left side. My character sleeping in the one with the fireplace. Okay. I haven't slept in a bed in months, so <clears throat> I am in my shell. On top of the bed. It seems like, like the species would like just have. New map for us? It seems uh, like the species just would not have any use for beds, is the general rule. The royalty and now, they might have pillows for the shells to rest on. That way, when they. Get out in the morning, they don't bump their knuckles and such. Given my reaction last time, should I roll for what kind of dream I have? If you wanna. Sure. Fifteen. I forgot, what was good dreams high or bad dreams high? That's your ruling. Okay. Do you want to be good dreams or do you want high to be bad dreams? Uh, go ahead and roll again and good dreams high and bad dreams low. Four. You have the worst nightmare ever. You find yourself right back in the palace. Married to a shock sister with a boatload of kids. <laughs> this is just that nightmare scene from Shrek 3, isn't it? Yes. <laughs> no, combine that with the nightmare baby sequence from Son of the Mask where the babies grow fangs. <laughs> <laughs> I have no recollection of some of the masks at all, but I know I've seen it twice. What? I said I have no recollection whatsoever of some of the masks, but I know I've seen it twice. <laughs> I have been blessed and I have never seen it, so... Question is... I remember it wasn't good, but I also remember that I didn't find it bad at the time, but I was also... Oh... So, should I do it? Should I... Should I... Do I accidentally break something when I wake up? Like I did with the ropes? No. 
Do I fall off the bed? Yeah. <laughs> anyway, as you are all sleeping, everybody, including past the shell, roll me a perception. Oh no, it'd be past the perception. So. Mine is 14. Okay. And the fun thing is, I accidentally rolled my die and I also got a 10 in the still, so. <laughs> Alright. Because sometimes you just gotta roll a die even if it means nothing. Ooh. Okay. Everybody gets a foul smell that wakes them up out of bed. Oh, and I don't get it because I'm already awake. Yeah. Well, you get it. You smell it before everyone else wakes up. Yeah. <laughs> oh, what is that? Where are my books? It's been a while since I smelled that. <clears throat> you saw the scent of rotten flesh approaching your room. Knew I should have. Knew I should have slept outside. I roll off my bed directly into my armor and don it as an action. Okay. What, what kind of armor do you have? Splint mail. Okay. However, one of, one of my abilities as an armor artist lets me don armor as an action. Everybody went silent, so I was making sure that we didn't get disconnected or something. No, you're fine. Don't worry, sir. If the call drops, we can immediately call you back. Yeah, but it's good to know if I get dropped out of the call so I can put myself back in. Alright. I had some call center Tourette's there. Please. So. You all <coughs> are disturbed by the smell of undead. Can I knock on the side wall and see if anybody hears me? <laughs> yeah. Alright. 19. So, you rolling to knock on the wall to see if anyone hears you? I hope they do. Well, I hope a 19 doesn't mean I just knocked a hole in the wall. No, but you're definitely loud enough that everybody home and heard you. I guess making sure everybody's awake. I guess. <laughs> so, do you guys go out in the halls to see what's going on? Yep. As you exit your rooms, you see what looks like four corpses all staring at you, and one with armor upon, wearing studded leather armor. I ask if I can help them. <laughs> the corpses move towards you, saying nothing, almost as if they cannot speak. Ready in action to slug one if it to tries to attack me. Right. Mm 
One attempts to approach and takes goes to take a swing at you. Take your ready to action. Who was they swinging at? Is that me? Does a 16 hit? Yes. Uh, okay. Seven damage. Seven thunder damage. Okay. He hammers into the creature. It stammers back, but its unliving eyes come towards you again. And now it is initiative time. Sixteen. Two. Well, never heard that number before. Zombies get a fourteen. Leader gets a 14. Okay. So it goes me, leader, zombies, everybody else. Yeah. I got a 2. What did you roll? Ah, I see a Lich's roll there. 11? Yeah. Okay. Zach, what you doing? I'm going to slug a different zombie this time. Okay. Sixteen. That will hit. Helps if I roll one d eight instead of ID eight. <laughs> ID eight. <laughs> ID eight. That's going to be another seven damage. All right. Zombie is still standing. Yes, however, both the zombies I've hit have disadvantages when attacking someone other than me. Hmm. Interesting. All right. So then it goes to the zombie... To the leader, correct? Yes. All right. Yep. Foolish mortals, I have come in the master's name to put an end to you. The gun dead creature steps forward and goes after the lizard man. Wait. Is your master's name to put an end to you, or did your master send you to put an end to us? He shakes his head and swings at the lizard folk. <laughs> I also shake my head at that. <laughs> hey, sometimes you can confuse them. <laughs> Alright. What was that? Slapping mosquito. I take it a nine is not going to hit you, sir. Um, Trey, Travis? Hmm? Is a nine going to hit your character? No. 
Okay. So he's gonna swing again at Lizard Man. Will a fifteen hit? Still a no. <laughs> this undead creature in studded leather armor takes two swings and misses. I just dodge and weave, dodge and weave. Alright. Zombies turn! The two zombies attacked by... by Elephant Man go after him. So that's going to be a 10 and 8, respectively. Yeah, no, neither of those could hit me. Okay. Heck, neither of those would hit me if I was in my prone, unarmored, squishy state. Alright. Trey, what did you roll for initiative? Two. A two, right. So it's Lich's turn. This should be fun. Kobold. You have four zombies and another undead in front of you. What are you doing? Uh, fire. <laughs> Can fire. I use my action to throw the kobold out the window? <laughs> when it's your turn. So, burst into flame, barbaric rage, two damage to every everything at fire and I'm hitting the leader all right will that actually hit a 22 yes that will hit good fucking finally Excuse me. Uh, eight points. Okay. And that's it. All right. It goes to Trey. Hmm. I. What do I roll for an attack again? D twenty. All right. I Plus it your in. attack. Your attack. My. Well, I, if I remember correctly, is Dex. Oh, I have one. And you add your proficiency bonus to that. Oh, I got for all of it? Yeah, is this the turtle monk? Yes. Yeah. <clears throat> for monks, they have the option to use dex. <clears throat> so, but I'm pretty yeah, sure his dex was higher. I thought his strength was higher. What is your Which strength? is higher, strength or your dex? Oh, I have a 15 plus 2, so it's a 17. It was 17. Right. 15 plus 2 is your modifier? Yeah. So your, so your strength is a 15. What? What is your strength and what is your dex? My strength is 15, my dex is 17. Okay. Okay. Dex is going to be higher. So that's three from dex, plus two from a proficiency, so that's plus five to your d20 roll. Oh. Eat. I need to bark that down. Okay. 
Yes, you should. Is that the... Is that, do I put that in attack bonus? Yes. Swing, I quickly swing my quarter staff while sca while shouting, "Come in!" Nat twenty. Okay. Plus five. That's twenty-five. It's a nat twenty, so you automatically hit, and it's a critical. Ooh, so roll damage. double your damage dice, and then add your dex modifier. Yeah. Okay. Okay, that's a d six. So you get 2d6. Oh, 2d6. <clears throat> hey, th are you using your bow staff? Yeah. Uh, da, 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 hang on. Now I have a question. Are you using it with both hands or one hand? Because both hands convert a weapon and increase in damage. Both hands, then. Normally, you're supposed to declare that before you attack, oh. but I'll allow it. Okay. I didn't know. Because you're still sort of new, I guess. You haven't played in a while, so. Yeah. You haven't played in a while, and even then, you weren't the best at playing, so. Okay. Okay, I rolled a three. Total? Oh. Wow, he rolled a one and a two. Okay. Jesus. So with the modifier, that's seven. So that takes 14, 16 points of damage. Okay. It's still standing. Which one are you hitting? The one that was coming towards me. Okay. So one of the zombies, which I'm assuming is going to be one of the ones that uh, the elephant was smacking. Most likely. Alright. And it goes top of the round, which is... Zack. Did I not get a turn? Wait. Yeah, oh. you were supposed to be before me. Yeah, go. Sorry. Go, Travis. So before Two. the... Before the lizard folk lights itself on... Before the kobold lights itself on fire... I Did yeet the kobold out the nearest window. What do you want me to go, Flat? Wait, you're yeeting him before his turn. <laughs> I can see it in his eyes. Okay, all my damage is nothing. So, main guy gets ten, the other guys okay. get two back. Yeah. So I don't even rage. Okay, I'll yeet him at the uh, furthest uh, the zombie. <laughs> Whichever oh. one won't uh, set me on, on fire when he sets himself on fire. <laughs> Ten foot range. Yeah, so he's setting all of us on fire. Yep. He's setting Even the, if you it's a wooden away. building. He's setting the hallway on fire. <laughs> He's setting everything I on fire. I told you, I'm burning it. <laughs> if we have this, if we still have any of the dynamite, he's setting the dynamite on fire. We don't. <laughs> that's why I took it no, away with my character. that's not until my next one. How, how about this? We'll split the difference. I yeet him, and he attacks a zombie while he's being yeeted. So pretty much, you're going to use him as an improvised weapon, and then he takes his turn. Fastball special. Sounds like rule of cool to me. Just yeets flaming cobalt. There we go. I'm I cast firebolt. Eh. What, Dustin? I'm not on fire yet. Okay, so it's throwing a cobalt. And that catches on fire. <laughs> I cast Firebolt. <laughs> I 
All right. What do you want me to roll for that? Um, I'm pretty sure you could just range attack roll me. with your own weapon. Well, first it would be a duck dex attack attack roll, but before that, um, question, Dustin, are you is your character going to resist him grabbing you? I don't even know. I'm looking at the zombies. Because <laughs> I would say it'd be like grapple. To it would if you resisted. However, you can auto fail a save. So he'll auto fail and then a dexterity. No, throw. I'm assuming he's gonna throw me. Let's uh. go the kobold for a nineteen. That'll hit a zombie. Okay, improvised weapon. What, 1d4? Oh my god. All I can think of now is the meme beating a, a mother effer with a mother effer. To be fair, he could rule it as doing more damage than a 1d4 if he wanted. I'm I just, I, I'd, I'd give it to him simply because you're throwing a per... A, granted, it's a small person... But it's a person with weapons at people. And since you're trying to get him 10 feet away, that would be 10 feet of fall damage laterally, so that's a d6. Yeah. Whee! <laughs> <laughs> Still a one. <laughs> he, he just do so it. takes a of two. Uh, I just want the little bastard away from me when he sets himself on fire. <laughs> Fair enough. That sounds like a good idea. I'm too far away. So, you yeet him at the further zombie, and he smacks it in the face, and it stumbles back. <laughs> Should I make a... Uh... A straight check to hold on? If you want to! Mount the zombie. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> this is the best retro action ever. It's just like... It's just like the, at the end of Tropic Thunder where the little kid just keeps stabbing him in the back. Aw, oh, seven. Aw. Oh. I mean, it has to... The zombie still has to go. That is true. It has to resist. Wait, how, how are you a barbarian with no strength modifier? I'm a kobold. kobold. I get Nick too. <clears throat> Minus two to his strength, yeah. And since this is a grappling, I'm assuming it's going to be plus strength to his d20, correct? Yep. Yeah, if, when it comes to resisting a grapple, it can be a strength or a dex. Yeah. He rolled a four. That kobold is on his face. <laughs> and then the kobold sets itself on fire. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, lizard man throws kobold, kobold glumps zombie's face and lights himself on fire. Uh, sounds like Tuesday to me. Can you still hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Do I need to get closer? Is that better? Why is you crying? What's going on? I am sitting here mentally breaking down into tears of laughter. <laughs> That's a sheer thought. I mean, lizard man, 
picking up a kobold, yeeting him at a zombie. <laughs> While the kobold's going, Wee! <laughs> And then I look deeply into the zombie's eyes and explode in a flame. <laughs> you know what? I'm going to call him football. <laughs> Whatever that is. Football is already a sport they call play in Jangira. That involves neither feet nor balls, so I'm not sure why it's called that. Because America. <laughs> Football is on fire, but we can work around that, right? So, are we going to redo Dustin and Dre's turn, or is it my turn now? That should yeah. be as non-disruptive as possible. Yeah. So, there will essentially be the... There will be kind of a redo on Dustin's turn then, as it kind of bursts its fluffs up on fire. Unless he wants to try and make some attacks on the zombie. I'm gonna headbutt it. I think Zach is rolling something. <laughs> no, I'm just setting up my roll. Okay. So, Lich is gonna headbutt the zombie. Go ahead and roll attack. <laughs> Seventeen. <laughs> <laughs> oh. What happens? Well, I'm gonna. Assume well, you headbutt the zombie. I'm gonna assume it's a D four. Yeah. So. Five. Okay. Five points of damage? Yep. Alrighty. So the zombie has taken seven points from being on fire and five from being headbutted. What are you doing? Most of the seven from when I first hit it. I'm done. Okay. It's just saying you're typing. All right. It is now. It is now going to be Zach's turn. Okay, I'm gonna use green fire, green flame blade, on one of the zombies. Okay. There's a 14 hit. Yes. Okay then. And to clarify, which zombie are you hitting? The one that attacked Pasta Shell, or...? The one that attacked Pasta Shell, and the other one, which takes 9 damage, and the other one takes, well, 9 thunder damage, and the other one takes 5 fire damage. Okay. Wait, I got attacked? Well, technically you attacked it. But... Still, that will hit and do enough damage that I will have to make a roll now. Come on, Paige, work with me. Here we go. So it's going to be...
Nope, zombie goes down. Cool. The one that attacked Pasta, or the one who who was being ridden by Kobold? The one that Pasta was attacking. Okay. So that is my turn. Okay. Now the turn of the undead guy leading the fight. Is anybody going to roll any, like, knowledge, undead, or anything like that? Who would have it? I can, if you want. Would this be Arcana? That or religion. Pretty sure for most of us, that's just going to be a flat D20. Nine, because I don't care. It is undead. It's definitely been... Stronger and more powerful than a zombie. Alright. I'll have to wait for more. Do that stuff before I can pull again. Alright. So I need to swing another attack at Lizard Man. This time it's going <coughs> to. Will a 14 hit? No. Okay. But my AC is 18. Alright, so it does not hit you with its first attack. That 23 will definitely hit. Unfortunately. Alright. You take eight necrotic damage. Eesh. And I'm going to need you to roll me a constitution save. Wait, I forgot to increase my saves and such when I leveled up from building. I rolled a whole eight. You lose your maximum hit points is reduced by eight points until your next long rest. Fun. And that is going to be the end of his turn. One zombie is dead. We have one that is currently attempting to attack. Has the shell. Another one's trying to go after me? Or should I say his axe character? Or should he say what? Zach's character. Your character. Okay, good luck. Shot. Will a 19 hit your character? No. <laughs> what? I currently have 21 AC. Due to applying the enhanced defense infusion to both my shield and armor. However, I'm pretty sure that 19 only meets my armor otherwise, so it still won't hit. Hmm. Currently, my AC is 21. This is liable to change, though. 
Not this combat, but eventually. Alright. The other one is going to try and get the kobold off his face. And he's going to make an opposed grapple check. So both the rule athletics. Yeah, I don't think he's going to win that. You never know. Nine. <laughs> the kobold, the zombie yanks the kobold off his face and chucks it back at the lizard folk. Hey, now it already used its action to remove the kobold. That's true. So, the zombie has removed a kobold and is now holding a kobold in its hands that is on fire. So it has reversed the grapple. Yes. I'm sorry for being a circular about this, however, in my other game I play a grapple, or what used to be a grapple-based character. Alright, and I believe the next character is... Trappist, yes? Yes. Alright. <clears throat> Let's see, I think I shall stab the bastard that necroed me. Alright. <laughs> that will hit. I will stab him for nine damage. Okay. <clears throat> and does he need I... more stabby? Yes, yes, he does. Okay. I don't think I want to try eating this, so I'm just gonna thump it with my tail. All right. That's or a nat 20, 20, yeah. Nice. That's 2d4 plus 4. Oh! Alright. Nice. That's some damage. You have brought this creature down to half of its health. Just a very solid thump with my tail. Mm. 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 I've got thunderstruck by ACDC stuck in my head. Yeah. <laughs> All right. From there, I believe it's Lich's turn. Yeah. Don't undead take double to fire. Some do, uh, some don't. Some of them, usually it's radiant. Yeah, unfortunately, there's it's not for this one. I think what you're thinking of is uh, vampires specifically. Oh. Well, bonus, fire, so two, okay. everyone again. Okay. And war pick to the face. Eight. That will just hit his armor class. Oh. Wait, what? How shite are these guys AC? They're zombies. Like, I literally only need to roll to make sure I don't have a one. Yeah, that Because we're doing the house roll of a nat one misses no matter what, right? Yeah. Ten. Okay. Ten. 
As I recall, the zombie has already taken 10 damage beforehand, correct? Yep. Alright. So, it's taken 12 this round. Alright, give me one second. He is going to need to make a constitution save. And he fails. There are now two zombies and one very angry undead thing attacking you at this point. It is now Trey's turn. Alright, there are two zombies left. Plus the other undead. Other undead? Yes, there is another undead. The one that's dealing necrotic damage. And damaging people's like health points until they take a long rest. Has he been hit yet? Yeah. Mm. All right. I go for him. My quarter staff gripped in both hands. I do some spinning kung fu shit, and then I strike once again, shouting "Kame!" Oh. So. Mm, roll. Okay. Roll one d twenty. He fucking won! Oh, it's a nat one. You go to oh, spin and do I your... Got, no, I got an eight. Did you? Yeah. Where it landed, it looked like a one to me. Well, it would have had to be all the way over here to be a one. Okay. Uh, how about you use the, the dice spot, Trey? That way we can... I know you're trying to avoid it, but that way, that way we can all see what it actually is. What do I say? Exclamation, roll, space, and then what you're trying to roll. So like 1d20 plus your attack modifier. So it'd be exclamation roll space one d twenty plus five five yeah. You don't even have to put a space. Fifth. It makes it easier for other people to read what was rolled. Uh, Fifteen. Okay. That will hit. Roll two d six. Yes. Seven. All right. Wait, do I have to add the attack to that? Uh, normally, if you're using a, a, a melee weapon, you add your strength. Oh. Unless or you get the so monk weapon, you can also use your dex instead. Yeah. Or a finesse weapon. Yeah. Now, how much damage did you roll, Trey? Seven without the bonuses. And with bonus? Uh, I know my Should attack be is five. So, ten? Yeah. The creature is almost dead. And now okay, I'm going. I'm going to green flame bra blade the creature. Okay. 13 hit? No, it does not. Okay, then. That was my turn. Then again, I'm pretty sure I can make it an attack with a bonus option with my off. Wait, no, I'm going to show him that I can't. 
Never mind. Hmm. Okay. I didn't want to waste the key points. Or, or I could have done flurry of blows just then. Creature is going to attack the elephant man trying to swing a flaming green sword in his face. There is no sword, it's just called Green Flame Blade. It's pretty much my dog that caught fire for it. Hmm, okay. Yeah, that comes nowhere near my AC. That does, though. Yeah, that will hit. That is fucking terrible. So you take four necrotic damage, and I need you to roll me a constitution save. Okay. Really dice spot. Why must you be like this? Alright. You lose four points to your maximum HP until your next long rest. <laughs> okay. Still sitting three. Hey man, it happens sometimes. So what was the DC on that? Thirteen. Huh. It's not Uber high. No, it is not. Still wish I hit it, though. Hmm. Alright. Zombie turn. Or zombies, because there is still... No. Because I believe Lich killed the, the one that was holding him. So it is now a zombie's turn. Last remaining zombie is going to try and swing pasta. And I'm assuming a nine's not going to hit you, is it, Trey? Nope. So then it goes to Travis. Does it break? Does it chip off a little paint, though? No. Oh. It is now Travis's turn. Yep. Let's go with the old razzle dazzle cuss dab. That will. And which one are you attacking? The Necro bit. Necro. Alright, that'll hit. Stabity for 11. And that will actually bring him down. Is there anything else still standing? Mm. One zombie. One zombie. Kill the zombo. Curtail smack. Okay. Seven damage. I guess it, it, it goes to crumple and then stands back up. Okay, gonna go ahead and spin a key point, why not? And cut tail smack it again. Fly of blows style. All 
All right, that will kill it. Well, I still have to hit it. I mean, I still have to roll damage, and it still has to fail the con save. True. <laughs> All right, so does it fail the con save? That's the thing with zombies. Uh, yes, yeah. it does. Uh. Zombie is dead. So. You have finally vanquished the undead. Yes, we have. And it is now 12.30, which I think most of us who work probably should be getting ready for bed soon. Probably. So, I oh hope everybody God. enjoyed this game session. Um, that was supposed to be something I managed to level up with 5, didn't we? <laughs> yeah. Are you for level 5 now? Uh, n not quite. But I hope you guys all enjoyed this session, and I hope our viewers enjoyed watching. See you next time, and stay safe, everybody. I like my new character much more than the old one.